Hi, welcome to Losing Weight with Elizabeth. Yay! <laughs> okay, today we're talking about patience in weight loss. I, I can't think of anything that's harder for patience in weight loss because how many things do we see on a regular basis that says 10 pounds in one week or 50 pounds in a month or you know any number of things easy i mean you all you have to do is go down a drugstore aisle and half of an aisle is all weight loss products that will promise you the world so that is not going to happen so i it took me three years to lose 93 pounds that's a little over a half a pound uh, a week. Do you think that that is even slightly okay with most people? No. No, I do. Yeah, I really honestly, I know most people. I, I was unbelievably unpleasant during that time. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not even kidding you. I was so unpleasant because I could not understand um, what a good thing that was. And why do you think it was a good thing? It was you were consistent I was consistent for certain that yeah. was an absolute which is good so yeah. it made it easier once you got there you didn't have to drastically change the way you ate again I you was, were already there I was sort of like doing maintenance light mm -hmm. <laughs> right mm -hmm. and I think that that is a uh, I think that's the best way you could ever lose weight because do you just want to lose it one time it also gives your body a uh, time to adjust Yes, it to most the different certainly way does. You're, you're eating because you're not, you're just eating healthier. Right, and you're changing your taste buds, I think. Right. You know, honestly, now I would rather have, uh, I made last week, this is so delicious, I made salmon in teriyaki sauce on a bed on, of roasted uh, baby carrots. Mm. Oh my goodness, it was so delicious. And it was under 500 calories and it was utterly filling. <coughs> oh, God bless you oh, thank and you. keep you, uh, as they say. Thank you. Um, and so I didn't know it at the time. If I knew it at the time, I think I might have been uh, more patient. <laughs> but I just didn't realize how lucky I was that it was actually going that way. Because, you know, but of course, I was being good as gold for five days, and then two days I was probably eating 20,000 calories. So, you know, it's not, it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't my body that was doing the wrong thing, or, you know, it was my body that was saying, oh, you had 20,000 calories. Well, that's great. You were good all week, but it's not great now. You know, I've still got to add the 20,000 calories. So, if we think about it that way, we're going to, we're gonna we're gonna get into maintenance in a slow and a progressive way but in not a fast way this program losing weight with elizabeth is about not losing weight fast i know that is not what anyone wants to hear but it is absolutely a fact it's about losing weight forever it's about losing weight forever i i remember being on the grapefruit diet and that was two pounds a day for five days, and I lost 10 pounds. And, uh, and then I started eating normal, and I gained it right back. You gained the weight right back, right. isn't that the truth? And really, do you eat grapefruits to this day? <laughs> I do, but not, not anywhere near the way I did yeah, on the right. diet. <laughs> it's really true. You say to yourself, yeah, I cannot <laughs> eat another, I cannot eat another grapefruit. So... Um, so anyway, so let's go back to this. Let's go to patience. Let's be realistic. This is, this is really, uh, this is the most important thing that I can imagine, hands down, is that we are realistic about our weight loss. Mm -hmm. If it's 0.6 a week, it's 0.6 a week. That's how I lost it. Yeah, that's how you lost it. 
And and Felicia, now you lost, we were picking at 83 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay, so at 83 pounds in a year and a half, say, so you're losing about three quarters of a pound three quarters of a pound or so mm -hmm. a week some mm -hmm. weeks are better than others right. but that's the truth as we all know you know that's better than than uh sometimes mm -hmm. so um we have to be realistic about the weight loss but i noticed that you seem to go out and enjoy yourself and have your stuff and that is really important to be able to do that is because you cannot deprive yourself of every single thing like a lot of people say you know it will be really hard for me to give up pizza but i don't want you to give up pizza i just want you to be more careful about pizza here's the here's the trick i found with pizza because you know i like pizza it's not my top 10 but you know i like it um actually one of the better things is flatbread pizza Mm -hmm. That would be a much better choice to me, which I absolutely love with roasted uh, vegetables on mm. it. Oh, my, my, my. Yeah. So delicious. Ah, my mouth is watering <laughs> right now. Just think about it. Anyway, um, and so, but when you go have pizza, you should plan on how many slices. It can't be one. Let's, let's, just, let's just forget one. One goes down in about 12 seconds, mm -hmm. doesn't it? First of all, I use a knife and fork on my, my, on my pizza. No offense to John Stewart, who would be <laughs> o overwhelmingly upset by that. <laughs> but but uh, what about, uh, what do you think, what do you, how do you think I eat it? Knife and fork. Mm -hmm. So it takes time. So how many pieces of pizza should you have? Two. I would say two and then a salad. And a salad. <laughs> two and a salad. That makes perfect, perfect sense. Perfect sense, yes. Because you get that first, the first piece of pizza, if you don't burn your mouth, which I've done many, 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 many times, is, is, uh, is just honestly to get it, uh, I think it's the appetizer, really. It just starts you on pizza. The second piece is the piece you should actually enjoy. But while I'm having that pizza, I'm eating the salad. And I find that that is a very good way to do it. Plus, I like the vinegar. You know, the vinegar with the pizza is a nice little treat. Mm -hmm. So I think we should start to be realistic about what we won't give up. Do you have something you just will not give up? I won't give up nuts. I won't give up mm -hmm. nuts. <laughs> I mean, I won't eat a lot of nuts. You know, but I mean, if I'm faced with a can of nuts in a bad mood, then there goes a can of nuts, right? Well, I won't give one? up cookies. Yeah, cookies, yeah. You know what, though? Here's I, the but I don't ever eat more than two. Oh, well, I don't know how. That is just willpower at the <laughs> absolute max, isn't it? Uh, we could, we, I, I would Sometimes give that right. three, but two is usually by max. Yeah, yeah, I think two biscotti. Yeah, two Mrs. Fields. <laughs> oh my goodness, lard and sugar all the way. What well, won't you give up? Bread. bread, bread in any form. Bread in any I love form. Bread. But I you know what? For me, with bread, it really, really has to taste good. It's got to be it calorie has. worthy. It has to be calorie See, all worthy. All bread is calorie worthy, except for like sliced white bread. That's not calorie That's worthy. That's not but calorie I mean, any worthy. kind of. Italian bread, <laughs> you know, and rolls. I just love it all. See, my uh, my love trick is I like the crust. Mm -hmm. So what I will do is I will take the inside of the bread out at a restaurant, and I'll just take the inside right out, and I'll have the crust. What a and great idea! I know, and it that works for us because my husband doesn't like the crust, and I like the crust. Oh, he always eats the crust. <laughs> That's perfect, then. I love the crust. Yeah. So, and somehow, what two pieces of bread. <laughs> Or, you know, how they cut them in half. One whole piece of bread, but just the crust. So, I mean, I don't even think I'm getting a whole slice of bread. I think I'm getting a half a slice of bread with the crust. And I don't think the crust is any more fattening than anything. So that's being realistic about weight loss. That, you know, we're going to definitely keep the things that we love in our life uh, food-wise. But I found... I had the most delicious half a grinder that I get to have every three or four months last, last week. Mm. And I just honestly cannot handle it anymore. <laughs> it does not sit well with me. When you eat healthy, 
Yeah. Bad food does not sit well. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I was never so sick in my life. So for me, I think you need to really think about, um, you really need to think about what you're eating. And then the more healthy you eat, is that how you would say it? More healthy? Mm-hmm. Healthier? <laughs> that you eat, the better you're going to feel, number one. And the less likely you are to eat poorly. So that's number one. How about this one? And I have seen this ad. You will drop two gene sizes in one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are they doing to you that you will drop two gene sizes in one day? <laughs> Dehydrating you. <laughs> Dehydrating you. Yeah. Starving that, you. Huh? Starving you. Starving you. And you know, you go under 1,200 calories, you're starting to go into a mode of starvation, and a lot of things will happen to you. Lots of things. I had a friend who ended up in the hospital. She ended up in the hospital? For two weeks. Really? Because she dropped too much weight. These things are killing me. Too quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She lost too much weight too quickly. and uh, How much did weight some, did she lose? Do you know? She lost about 65 pounds in a couple of months. And um, she ended up in the hospital, and the doctor told her uh, she did damage to her um, pancreas. Uh-huh. And so she had to have surgery and everything. So, and that was from the weight loss. Yeah, let's keep that in mind. <laughs> from dropping it too fast. From too dropping much. it too fast. Too much, too fast. Yeah. You know, when my son had his accident, um, I went into a state of depression because he was in the hospital for three years. So you know, you're gonna, be you're gonna depressed. be, you're gonna get depressed. Anyway, I lost six po- sixty pounds in a very short period of time. And I, and I was 30 pounds heavier than I am right now. And my family thought I was gone. Like, you know, everything was in, big rings under my eyes. Looked terrible because I could only eat like a half an apple and uh, half a grilled cheese. And I would choke that down. Don't ever wish that you were, you weren't, you're not hungry. That is the worst thing that you could ever wish for. Mm. So I, I simply uh, lost weight too fast. And even though I wasn't as thin as I am now, I looked thinner simply because I was, you know, in the, um, you know, because I lost it so fast. Mm. And I look sickly. So, you know, you don't want to do that. And then here's one, 50 pounds in a month. I had a lady who lost 50 pounds in a month. She was having 500 calories a day. Now she's sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You simply cannot do that. But they will promise you that. Yeah, I know. Was she injecting that stuff too at the same time, that diet where they, the HCG or whatever? There's a diet that you inject something? Yeah. What's that called? It's the... HCG, I think it's called. HCG, and it's, yeah. And it's along with 500 calories. And oh, God. A lot God. of people, a lot of people. A day? Have tried that one, yeah. Ooh. And what's and happening they, to them? They lose weight, but they also tend to get ill. Get huh. sick, yeah. yeah. And then what happens? Once they get better. Then they gain it all back plus. Plus. Yeah. Because they're not doing it the right way. And everybody plus. says, well, I, I can't do it the slow way. I have to have immediate results. Mm-hmm. Listen, if you go down to 1,200 calories and you have been eating, you know, 2,500 or, 2, or 3,000 or 3,500, which is really easy to do, so easy to do you wouldn't believe. My lunches before I lost weight were 2,500 calories. Oh. That was a bacon cheeseburger with french fries and coleslaw, 2,500 calories. So, and that was just lunch. (laughs) So imagine breakfast and dinner. So I was probably consuming 35 to 4,000 calories. You know, it takes uh, about 4,000 calories to keep 250 pounds on you. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was doing. And uh, I never thought I was eating that many calories. And when they finally came out with those menus with the calorie count, and I looked at that, I went, that's 2,500 calories? That was the last one I had. Wow. I know. It was unbelievable. 2,500? 2,500 calories. You you have no idea how many calories are in things. And it's so easy. Oh, there must have been so much fat. Oh, so much fat. Most fast 
fast food restaurants have 15% beef in their hamburgers. 15%. What is the other stuff that's in that? Sawdust? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right, exactly. <laughs> it could be so anything. It's 15% meat? Yeah. Ooh. And who knows what kind of meat that is. Not that I really care because if you eat beef, which I do occasionally, what difference does it make where it comes from on the cow? It really, really, really doesn't. But, uh, you know, that's the way I feel about all meat. It doesn't, don't tell me, oh, it has, you know, um, you know, fish, uh, chicken feet, say. Mm -hmm. Well, you're eating chicken. So what does it matter where it's from, really? That just sounds horrible, but it isn't. I mean, let's face it. In, when we were little, my parents used to make soup rite. Mm. You know about mm. soup rite? It's made out of brains. Brains. Yeah, brains. brains. Like zombies. Brains. They still More brains. Really? Yeah. Soup yeah. rite they is still, made out of brains? They still make it down at Mario's. Yeah. yeah they and it's delicious. Don't think it's not delicious. Yeah. That's the best sauce you could ever have, really. And I think like intestines or... Uh, other mm -hmm. liver, not liver, because I would never touch it, <laughs> but you know, other body parts. Heart, I think it's heart. Oh, yeah. So, in, but it's delicious, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I would be willing to bet it's not that fattening mm -hmm. because it's in red sauce and it's that brown red sauce, you know, so it's a really thick sauce, but they're really trying to cover up the flavor <laughs> of all that stuff that's <laughs> going in there. There's tons of garlic, very delicious. But I mean, you know, if you like souffle, you cannot tell me that, you know, no, like I chicken fingers. It. What, it, what do you think are mm -hmm. in chicken fingers? I'm making a list. You can't believe. There's beaks and, and feet and, you know, I bet you there's a couple of feathers in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, going under patience again. You're going to binge every now and then. There's Weekends. Mm -hmm. You're just going to binge every now and then. What are reasons for binging, do you think? Weddings. Well, weddings Six. could definitely be it. Stress, yeah. hormones. Stress, <laughs> hormones, any of that, any yeah. of this. Oh, it's poor Elizabeth, I need a cheeseburger. <laughs> It'll make me feel better. And you know, it doesn't make me feel Peer better. Peer pressure. <laughs> Peer pressure happens a lot, yeah. really. I was away on vacation and uh, they, they plated my food, at, at, you know, they cooked for us and they plated our food. What's plating? In, in other words, she put the food on your plate for you because she wanted it to look pretty, which I am so grateful that anyone would cook for me. Don't think that that's not part of the deal. I was very, very grateful for mm. it. But it really wasn't, um, it was too much food for me and I couldn't eat it all, and they were, you know, like Italians. Come on, eat, manja. You know, but I didn't want to have any more food. I was really done, and I kind of had to wait till they were like in another room before I went right to the garbage disposal because I can't eat that much food. Yeah. You know, and it was the best part. It was was uh, bison sausage. Oh. Oh my goodness, it was quite tasty, and bison is very low in. Uh, fat. fat. So it was really tasted, very meaty, um, in, a, in a good way. And it was very, very, very tasty with peppers, you know, mm. it was sausage and peppers, but bison sausage. Very, very, very good. But I could not eat all that food. And so, but they, peer pressure is a big one. Listen, we can only look at our own plates. Let's try to keep that in mind. Only be, co be concerned with what's on your plate, not someone else's. That's the big one. Even when I try using a small plate, you know, people will say, why are you using a small plate? And I say, because I like my plate to look full, like it's overloaded with food, when indeed it's really not as much food as if I had a big plate. Right. And plates from like the 50s were like this big, like our cake plates now. Now when you go to a restaurant, what size are those plates? Are you buy plates? They're gigantic. At one restaurant, very close to here, you, when you order pasta, you get a pound of pasta. Yes, you do. Yeah. That pound of pasta 
used to feed my whole family of seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It did. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we were, I, I don't, we weren't starving at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when you get a pound of pasta for your meal, you know, you really cannot believe it. I call those uh, restaurants the hog troughs. <laughs> hog troughs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awful. Let's not use that word. Well, that's what I call it. I know, but it does feel like it. I remember the first time, this was before I started losing weight, I ordered fettuccine alfredo with chicken and broccoli, and you know, broccoli being the healthy part of it, and the chicken, right? And it came, and it was a bowl of pasta. I laughed so hard. <laughs> I could not believe that they were giving me that much food. That fed three of us three meals. <laughs> believe it. I know. It was unbelievable. I was like, come back over. I have more fettuccine Alfredo. I mean, it had chicken and broccoli in it, so it was even more than the pound of pasta. Sure. So naturally, so with a salad, you know, but that's a lot of food. Yeah, it is. So uh, if I were to get, I, w I don't get fettuccine Alfredo anymore. I'm not like my very lucky sister who would get that bowl of pasta and then she would, she plays with her food. <laughs> she just, you know, I, I was thinking to myself, she has such a good figure. Why would she, you know, how could she be so thin or trim, you know, in good shape? And she's, that's her favorite food is fettuccine Alfredo. How could she do that? And I, so I said, I'm going to eat just like my sister. That's what I'm going to do. And I watched her that day, and I don't think she took six bites of fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Even that was probably about 500 calories. But she played with the food. She ate it slowly. It's very filling anyway. And by the time, you know, the five or six bites were done, she was done. She took that home. Me, before I lost weight, I would eat until I was almost sick. <laughs> Me too. Til, yeah, till I, yeah, till I uh, honestly had a stomach ache. Yes. You know, because it was so delicious. We always need something to stop that meal. Well, Even. that's, I think that's pra a good way to practice patience is by chewing your food and not putting food in your mouth until that is chewed and swallowed and then you put the next bite in your mouth yes don't put food in your mouth when you have food in your mouth try to think of it this way because a lot of people can't there so it's a really hard one to learn that's that's one i've it learned it is hard but try to think of it this way you've got old food back here you're putting new food in there <laughs> i don't want that that would really that just makes me sick so I actually sit back and relax and enjoy what I'm eating because really I love to eat. I want to taste every drop of whatever food it is. Mm -hmm. And I notice that I treat myself a little bit like company because I make a beautiful plate for myself. You know, I don't just toss anything together. I make a beautiful plate for myself on Sunday. I plan and prepare. I work at it. I try really hard. I, you know, so that during the week, I only have to put it together, and it looks like it's from a restaurant. So that's part of the thing. So okay, so um, your weight is going to flex fluctuate here and there. What's that do to? Hormones, yes, yeah. right. There's one thing you could have had. Well, did we not see that thing about the water? I won't say the water. Please read your labels, even on your water. Stunningly, this particular company has water that has an ingredient in it besides salt. It has salt in it, by but it has another ingredient that makes you thirsty. Oh. How clever is that? Mm -hmm. Now you drink that bottle of water down, now you need another bottle of water, right? It, so it's not just water. So really read your levels, read your labels and look at that salt content of so many things. It's really unbelievable how many 
uh, th you know, things have stuff in it you can't, if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it. <laughs> well, I don't know, you know, saying gabagol or capa cola, okay, I get it. <laughs> 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 or bruzzatini or bruzzatini or however you actually say it in real life. But, but if you can't read it because it's a chemical, don't eat it. In fact, don't eat anything you don't understand and never eat anything that's passed to you through a window. <laughs> No, nothing, absolutely nothing can you eat that is passed through a window. Even ice cream? <laughs> Worse! <laughs> okay, so all right, you're going to try new te techniques and they're not going to work. They're not going to work. They're going to work for on the short term, but they are not going to work on the long term. They simply will not. You think they will. Uh, believe me, I tried. I tried every single thing you've ever tried before, and every single time I gained it back. You're human. You're going to fail now and then. You're going to have bad days. But you know what? Nothing, nothing ever accomplished without obstacles is going to stay. Isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. I believe that completely. So just keep going. So this week, let's practice our patience. So thank you for joining Losing Weight with Elizabeth and have a healthy week. Okay, so we have to go to I mean, and it affects us. Mm -hmm. And nobody thinks it really affects us, but it really affects us. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and take a picture of that and post it. Smile. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty. What a great smile you have. Thank you. Okay, ready? All right, guys. I want to do a picture of you guys. Oh. Just smile. Smile at the camera. Did it come Which out? Which one? I'll get you all in my camera. Felicia, did it come out? I'm sorry I made you wait like that. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, did my picture my come neck. out? <laughs> Let's see. It's got to be pretty, you know. I see Bobby's belly. <laughs> Bobby's belly. I see Bobby's belly. Not up there. <laughs> Not up there. I'm just making a little joke. All right, let me try it again. Oh, look at you guys behind the camera, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. All right. Hold on. All right, she's fin got to finish her story. All right. I even looking there. <laughs> <laughs>